My name is Kristen Arnold and I am the Master Facilitator and President of the Extraordinary Team. Today's topic is the definition of a meeting facilitator and what they do. So let's take a look at that word facilitator. It comes from the Latin root word facile, someone who makes things easier. And a meeting facilitator makes that meeting process easier, helping the group to get from where they are to where they want to go, the current state to the desired state. And so the shortest distance between two points is, it's a straight line. But do groups work in straight lines? I don't think so. They go all over the landscape, down a rabbit trail and through the woods. And maybe you might end on time and maybe you might get the agreements that you needed to have. So having a facilitator, someone who makes that process easier is not a bad idea because they're focusing on the how you do what you do. Because everyone else in that room is focusing on the what you're going to do, the content. So it's really a marriage between the two, having a pro somebody watching process and somebody, lots of people, focusing on the content. So a facilitator, primary job, is to make things easier, to make sure that the group gets from point A to point B. Now, you might be asking, so how does a facilitator do that? Well, first and foremost, that facilitator meets with that team leader, the person who has the most skin in the game, the most to win or to lose about that meeting. And the facilitator and the team leader will meet and talk about what I call the charter. What's the bigger purpose? Why is that group meeting? Because most teams meet in a series of meetings, and this happens to be an important meeting that you really don't want to screw up too much, and that's why you might bring in an outside facilitator. So the facilitator will meet with the team leader and clarify, so what's that charter? What's the bigger purpose? And how do we want to work together so that the group is getting to where they need to go most efficiently and effectively? Once the team leader and the facilitator meet, then the facilitator usually designs a process and has a backup plan to get from point A to point B. Now, a facilitator usually has a treasure trove of tools and techniques and skills to draw from. So that facilitator will design a process and then usually will guide the group through that process. Now, there are two different kinds of facilitators. There's a facilitator who's very actively guiding that process. And usually when you're bringing in an external facilitator, they're very actively inviting participation in managing the process. But you might also have someone from inside your organization who is um, also developing the team. And so that facilitator might be a little bit more quieter, more of the guide on the side. And their job is really twofold, is to ensure that the group gets to where they need to go, but also to develop the team's skills. So the facilitator guides that process and they invite participation to make sure that all participate and that no one dominates. It's really important that everybody touches the ball in that sport. A good facilitator intervenes when necessary because you are gonna go off on the landscape. And so a facilitator has a whole bunch of different techniques to bring the group back on track, to intervene as necessary because groups will also have conflict. If you don't have conflict in a team, I get a little worried because if we're all thinking the same thing, hmm, you might not need to call a team number one or you might be having a little bit of group think. Usually there is conflict because you do wanna invite those disparate points of view. So a facilitator helps manage that conflict constructively and doesn't let it get overheated because there will be conflict in the process. A good facilitator checks the decisions that are made. It might seem like everybody's on board with an idea, but maybe not everyone. And so a facilitator checks those decisions to make sure that you don't have what's called process loss and that you have a solid commitment to the next steps, which is the next thing that a facilitator does is they clarify what the next steps are, who's gonna do what by when, if all you've had is a great conversation but no action items, 
that meeting might have been a waste of time. Teams talk, but the actual work gets done after the meeting. So a facilitator external might also document the discussion because you need to have those meeting minutes as soon as possible so that people can take action. Because ultimately, teams meet so that action can be taken outside of the meeting room. The real work gets done by the people involved. And so having a facilitator watch the process to make sure that the conversation stays focused, that the conversation is effective and efficient you can end on time and save time in the meantime. And ultimately, you'll have a greater commitment to the action items forward. So that's what a facilitator is and does. And I'll be seeing you at the Extraordinary Team.